Day two of the Commission of Inquiry began with a media chiding by counsel for the Commission, Reginald Armo. The attorney at law says media reports following Wednesday's sitting have declared the Commission concluded, with no incriminatory evidence found against the former administration. He addressed an audience that was limited to the three Commission members, the Attorney General and the media. Notably absent were representatives for the former government and members of the public. And although the Commission is broadcast live on television, Armo believes it is media reports that have convinced the public that the Commission is going nowhere. He says one newspaper claimed the body had arrived at a conclusion, while another reported that the former administration had been exonerated of wrongdoing. He says this is far from the truth. Neither of these reports is correct. I bring these matters to the attention of the Commission today for such comment as the Commission might wish to make, and I think it is particularly pertinent that the Commission may take into consideration my remarks in this latter regard. Bearing in mind that we are faced today with a bar table at which it would appear that no interested persons are present, it may very well be that the erroneous reports which have appeared in the media have misled the public of St. Lucia into concluding that the inquiry ended last Wednesday. The Commission's chair says the inquiry is far from over and more complex than meets the eye. Sir Fenton Ramsahoy says there is no foregone conclusion and the Commission will investigate valid concerns surrounding the expenditure of public funds. This includes road projects the Chairman says were originally estimated at $43 million but cost $133 million on completion. We need to get to the bottom of this rise in costs. We need to know whether the laws and regulations of St. Lucia were followed because the laws are intended to protect the people of St. Lucia when it comes to the expenditure of monies from the consolidated and other public funds which are regulated by law. The Commission has announced a change in procedure. It will now be conducted in two parts, an investigative period and an oral hearing. It has been adjourned until the first week of April. The Commission was originally scheduled to meet from February 25th to March 12th. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.